Let's find the nth term of a quadratic sequence. Look at the first example. You have to find the difference between the 2 and the 5. What will you get? Plus 3. And similarly, plus 5, plus 7, and plus 9. Now, look at your difference. We call this as the first difference. Is it the same? No, right? So, you keep doing it. Do for the second layer. So, you get a plus 2, plus 2, and plus 2. So, when you have the second difference to be same, what you do? You, you half the second difference here. So, what do I get when I half it? I take this 2 and I divide by 2. I'm going to get 1, right? So, what you do? You just write it as n squared. Where is that 1? The 1 is in front here. So, next step, what you will do? You will substitute the n with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why am I doing this? Because I have 5 terms over here. So, I'm trying to do a comparison. So, let's see what happens. So, when I put 1 squared, I will get 1. 2 squared, I'm going to get 4. 3 squared, 9. 4 squared, 16. 5 squared, 25. Next step, what you're going to do, you're going to go and take your sequence here. You take your sequence here and then you just write it on top and you find the difference between both of it. So, let's find 1, 2 minus 1, you're going to get a 1. 5 minus 4, you will get 1 again. 1 1 and 1. So, when the difference is the same, you can immediately write your nth term as you take the n squared and then you just do plus by 1. Now, how do I make sure that I am correct? In order to do the checking, what you do? You know this is your fourth term and this is your fifth term, right? I'm, I mean, I know that this is u1, u2, u3. So, I am going to check for the fifth term now. So, fifth term, if I substitute into this, my n value is 5, right? I am going to get 5 squared plus 1, which is 26. And I know that it tally with this one. Okay, let's move on to the next example now. Okay, let's do the same format like earlier. First, you are going to find the first different. So, I am going to get plus 6 over here. And then here plus 10, plus 14, plus 18. My first difference is not the same, so I am moving on to the next one. Plus 4, plus 4, and plus 4. So the second difference is the same. What will I do here? I will half the second difference. When I half the second difference, I am going to get 2. So what you are going to do? You are going to write 2 and squared now. Then since you have 5 terms over here, you're going to substitute your n with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's write that sequence. 2 times by 1 squared, you will end up with a 2. 2 times by 2 squared, you will get 8. 2 times 3 squared, you will get 18. 2 times 4 squared, 32. 2 times 5 squared, you're going to get 50. Similar to the previous step. So, I'm going to erase this. In order to make the formatting a little easy, once I'm done with this, what will I do? I will take all my uh, terms in the question. So, I have negative 1. I'm going to write it on top here. 5, 15, 29, 47. What do we do now? We find the difference. What is the difference? Minus 3. Is it the same for all? If it is the same for all, then it is very easy for you. You can quickly write nth term is equals to 2n squared minus 3. Do not be too overconfident. Always check your solution. I like to take the last term and mine is the fifth term here. Let me check. I'm going to take n5 and substitute here 2, 5 squared minus 3. What will I get? 50 minus 3 is 47. Similar to what I have here. Okay, let's move on to the next example. Okay, try the same way. Find the first difference. Plus 8, plus 10, plus 12, plus 14. Not the same, right? Your first difference is not the same. So, keep going. Plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Half your second difference. What do you get? You get a 1 now. 
so what will you write 1 and squared okay let's write the sequence for this 1 4 9 16 25 refer back to your question write your terms and now you will minus them so we are getting 3 8 13 18 23 okay is this the same now is it same is our difference the same let's go and refer to the previous ones in the previous one i'm getting it to be the same when i find the difference it's the same let's look at the first example everything is same so when it is not the same what do i do you just have to repeat another layer it means you find the difference here what are you getting plus 5 and here plus 5 again it's plus 5 so if the first layer this is your first difference your first difference being the same if your first difference is being the same you know that you will get a linear part okay so what do you write you write 5n so create something similar to this one now so you put 5n here and then you substitute 1 2 3 4 5 and what we get 5 10 15 20 25 so at this level you repeat the process again you take this one and you minus with this let's see what we end up with now we are going to get minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 of course everything is minus 2 when your second layer is already same what are you going to do you will merge these two and you can write it as 5n minus 2 and do not forget you had this earlier right see our second difference it's already the same so i know i will get a quadratic sequence so you merge everything you take this with what you had here and that will be your nth term now. Let's do the checking. So as usual, I will take my last term. It's up to you. You can take your third term. I like to take u5. If you want, you can even try with u3. Okay. Let me put u5 now. Let's see what we get. 5 squared plus 5 times by 5 and minus 2. That is 25 plus 25 minus 2 should give me 48. Are we getting 48? Indeed, it is the same. Okay. Let's try another one. Maybe at this point you can pause the video and do it on your own. Plus 12. Plus 20. Plus 28. 36 i'll try for the second layer 8 8 and 8 the so moment the second difference is the same you have to half it and what are we getting we are getting 4 now so you write 4 and square and create 4 4 2 square that is going to give you 16 4 3 squared so that is 4 times by 9 36 4 4 squared 64 4 5 squared that is 100 now what do we do we take this and we're going to minus with this and let's see what we get i'm doing it quickly now minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 we are lucky this time because we already got it the same way so what will you write for your nth term your nth term is going to be 4 n squared minus 3 let's do our checking maybe this time i do for u4 when i write u4 my n value is going to be 4 so 4 4 squared minus 3 that is 16 times by 4, 64 minus 3 is 61, similar. Okay, maybe with this one now, plus 8, 
plus 14 plus 20 plus 26 let's go one more so my second difference is plus 6 I'm going to half it and that will give me 3n squared so 3 12 how will you do for the next one 3 3 squared 27 3 4 squared 48 75 okay now I take this one and I got to minus with what I have here let's see what we get negative 5 negative 6 negative 7 negative 8 negative 9 is it the same it is not the same so you got to watch out here so what we are going to do we're going to go one layer and figure out I know it's going to be something related to linear so this is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so I will be writing minus n 1 n and then you repeat it over here you're going to get minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so let's highlight the different layer now we're going to take this and we are going to minus with this one now so when I minus what will I get minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 and everything is minus 4 now so together with these two you can write it as minus n minus 4 do not forget to carry forward this one so your nth term is going to be 3n squared minus n minus 4 let's do our checking I am going to do for you 4 now I take the 4 and I substitute into this 4 squared minus 4 minus 4 16 times by 3 is 48 minus by 8 that will give us 40 similar to what we have here 